hello and assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to another brand new video today we are going to analyze another amazing wordpress cache plugin which will improve your website speed this plugin name is w3 total cache which is the oldest and complete plugin it has a lot of features which can make your website super fast so this is my website where i am going to install and set up the plugin let's see my website's current speed score in gt matrix here GT matrix grade is D, performance is 61% and when we scroll down, see the page load time is 6.4 seconds. So now let's install W3T and configure it. Go to WordPress dashboard and hover in plugins and add new. In the search bar, type W3 total cache. this one now install and activate you can see below that this plugin has one plus million activations and over 5000 ratings plugin is activated and you can see that in left sidebar as named performance click on that and for the first time you will see w3 plugin setup guide page to use this plugin, you have to accept it first. Then you can see a guide too. You can just skip this tour and keep following me in this video. So this is the dashboard. Here you can see lots of pro features, but in this video, I will only show you the free features. Let's click to the general settings. You can find all the options here. Page cache, minify, opcode cache, database cache, like everything. So let's see one by one. First one is preview mode. If you enable it, you can test your website before applying all the changes to your website. So we will click on enable. I think this is a very useful feature as before deploying it we can check that if a website is broken or not. Next enable base cache. We can choose base cache method. This enhance is very good option for many users. Then comes minify. When we will enable it, it will show some warning that your website may be broken. I will click I understand the risks. We have enabled the preview mode earlier, so before publish it, we can check our website on our own. So nothing to worry. Minify mode is auto, then minify cache method. I have only disk option, if you have any other good option available, you can click that. Then I am going to leave everything as default. Then comes opcode cache. This is not available for me, but if you have, you can choose one. Next is database. This one really works. As we use dynamic database, when we visit websites, it processes all the queries to show you the website pages and contents. So, what it will do? This dynamic database will save some pre-saved queries so that it will not take so much time to get response from database. Next, object cache. I am enabling it, it really makes highly dynamic sites faster. Here browser cache is already enabled which is very nice. Then CDN. This one is very useful but this plugin do not allow lots of free CDNs. You can use free CDN like Cloudflare separately if you want. Next one is user experience. I am not checking this one as in WordPress higher versions is already there by default. I will check disable emoji. For fragment cache, I will choose disk. Then we can leave other settings as it is, as this will not be a very big deal for our speed optimization.
then at the end we will click save settings and purge caches it will save all the settings in this page so we have covered all the setting if you find any side break issue you can just uncheck the minify option you can see all the option on left side also you can click those and do advanced setups if you want but my major idea is to do the minimum setting and get the maximum output to make this video very useful to anyone now let's preview our website changes i'll check my full website if any section is broken or anything As it looks okay, I'll go back and will deploy the changes to my website. So now it's time to recheck my website speed to see how it goes after all the setup. I'll check GT matrix on incognito mode to see the perfect result. Okay, you can see the speed is now B great with 78% performance. Page load time is 2.5 seconds. I'm going to retest. As you know, sometimes it needs to retest few times to get the real output. Ok now C performance is increased to A and performance is 96% which is really impressive. Also load time is now 1.5 second which is really great. If you want to check in page insights. See, it's 92% and I really want to give you all a message that do not get obsessed with speed scores. If the score is above 80, that is a very impressive score as well. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. Thank you so much.